Go on in. Hi guys and welcome to a new week full of Retro Wheels content. As you can see, we are still cleaning up the showroom after my mom's little birthday party. That's almost done and now it's time to get some tires off some wheels. All these wheels of course need to be refinished. We're going to start with the speed lines because this week we will make some more custom speed lines and I'll show you guys the, prog the process. Then we have some black wheels that need some tires. My dad is already busy at the speed lines and I'm now gonna give him a hand. And that's three sets of speed lines into pieces. This time we were lucky, only one set needed some heat to take apart. Sometimes these wheels are really a headache. We're now off to the machine shop to drop the wheels off so they can get their custom retro wheels look. My Wednesday started great. I just came back from my driver's license tests and I got my license to drive a trailer. So now my dad doesn't need to come on the road trip to pick up cars anymore. Now we need to dismount some tires, check some wheels if they are straight and then prep them for powder. I need to mount some tires so these wheels can go out and then my dad will start packing you guys orders. So I'm off to a busy Wednesday. Now that all the tires are off, it's time to fix the band wheels. This time we're lucky and we only have three wheels with a little band, so let's fix those and then we can prep them for powder coat. Some wheels have a small dent, this one has a little bigger of a dent. But that's no problem, we can fix this little dent easily. And that's some curb damage removed. As you can see, lips are smooth again, no damage. Now it's time to load them in, bring them over to the powder coater. Then they get chemically stripped and then we can see if we find any other damages so we can repair them and afterwards they will get their new color. I just got a call from the machine shop. The custom speed lines are ready and some custom lips are ready. So I'm gonna start the van and we are heading over there. I of course forgot to film the loading. Now we are unloading. My dad went to the powder coater. A lot of fresh stock is finished. I'm finishing off a set of beautiful black Ferrari wheels. The customer will pick up those in a couple of minutes and then we have some more unloading to do. Custom speed lines are back from the machine shop and some more custom wheels are back from the machine shop. We have some three-piece projects laying ready to be finished. A set of concave RS2s with some Rad Inox 
lips. And then a set of AMG monoblock wheels. Normally two piece and now we have cut them into three piece. And what did we do with the AMG wheels? AMG wheels started as a two piece wheel with a center and a barrel in one piece. We have cut off the front lip so we stayed only with an inner barrel and then we ordered some blank lips without any holes without a center bar and then we made these lips to fit the AMG centers so now we can build a custom three-piece wheel And that's another day of wheel building done. Alex was here, he finished off his custom RS2s, concave faces, rad inox lips, beautiful set. Then we finished off a build for a customer, two piece to three piece AMG Aero wheels, 3.75 lips at the back, 1.75 in the front, and then we ended with a set of BBS RSs. These are Porsche fitment, will be put up for sale later. Just look at this table. We finally have a sunny day in Belgium, so we got all the cars out. The Rally Golf and the Cabriolet I'll be taking some pictures from in a minute. And then we're going to move some cars. Finally, my two Harlequins are together. And that's looking so cool. And that's a temporary place for the rally golf. This is my dad's shop. As you can see, now you know from where I got the love of cars. The polo is inside, so it's time for some upgrades. I have ordered some shit, so let's unbox it all and see what I have found. Conor, what did it steer? <laughs> so these are all the parts that I bought. We have some original brochures. I need to decide what color of blinkers I want to use on the Harlequin. I bought a beautiful Benetton steering wheel, some new front indicators and a set of English rear lights. What's the difference? This right side doesn't have a so this right side because it's from England doesn't have a reverse light in it so we have a complete set of red lights to go on our Harlequin Hi, 
Dat is een hele goede beeld, dat is dankie. Dankie. Nu is het tijd om te jump in de Mark 1 Cabriolet en eindelijk een foto's van het zodat we het listen kunnen kopen voor sale. And that's a good looking showroom again. Rally Golf inside, Mark 1 Cabriolet inside, for sale. You'll find them by the time this video comes online, I'll have them on the website. Then, first works of the Harlequin started. We have the beautiful red tail lights. And then now I've got a question for you guys. Somewhere over here, I'll let pop up some pictures. Please help me decide on what color of front indicator I need to go with. That's it for this week, for this video. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again for the massive likes, for the massive comments. Thank you guys and see you in the next one.